Final statement, uh, candidate Aragon. Thank you, uh, Ms. Bell, for putting this together. Uh, the New Mexico Black Voters uh, Collaborative for having me here. I appreciate uh, that. For your colorful questions, I love them. I really thought that was good. And we're having communicate, community engagement, and Ms. Bell and I will be uh, talking about some of those stats. And incidentally, my name is Catherine McGill. McGill, I'm sorry. Thank <laughs> right. you. Right. Thank I apologize. you. Well, I wanted to make sure to thank you specifically. Uh, and do you still live in Oklahoma? Or are, you, are you here now? Have we moved you from Oklahoma to New Mexico? Uh, your time is running out. I'm well, I'd give like for you to answer statement. that because we want to grow this uh, economy, we want to grow this city. And in order to do that, we have to be able to attract every person out there. And we only do that with a thriving economy. And I'm disappointed tonight that there's no talk about commerce. Despite Mr. Tim Trump being here, developing stadiums, developing hospitals, and all the please, other stuff that he's please. doing, I would, that's, that's my closing word. statement. I'd like to talk about commerce for a second, okay? If cost effective, I believe it is, we'll move the Albuquerque Rapid Transit. I want to prioritize the planning and commercial development, which is very important. We have to increase our tax base. We need homes, as we have noticed tonight, that we're severely lacking. Uh, we need to attract one Fortune 500 company here in the next five years. I'm the guy to do that as doing a corporate service and commercial real estate for 10 years. I want to work with regional and national developers to increase the number of industrial developments here in our uh, marketplace. Cloud kitchens, how many restaurants have been shuttered uh, during this time? No vaccine, no masking mandates uh, for me. I've already led the charge. Bernalillo County is already changing their policy. The city of Albuquerque has changed their policy. I'll be the most visible and audible mayor the city has ever seen in my city manager bus, cruising around, visiting schools, visiting businesses, and reopening this economy. I care deeply. I'm the only Republican that's on the ballot. I'm top of the ballot. You can go to Fight for 505. I'm not a government employee, as my two competitors on the ballots uh, certainly are. I think we need somebody with private enterprise and can-do attitude to get this thing done. I'm your guy, Eddie Aragon. Vote November 2nd. Thank you.